So hey everybody, welcome to another Feature Friday. A little bit longer video than normal this time around, but we're going to go through the Application Suite Manage component. You probably know it as Maximo right now, but when Application Suite came out, they changed the name to Maximo, from Maximo, to Manage. So, there's a few new things in there, there's a couple things that aren't there anymore, so it might be a good idea to take a look at some of these at a rather slow pace and uh, get to know what the differences are. So let's just get going. So let's start by logging into an instance of Maximo Application Suite. So my user is in the Max Admin group and is also entitled to all of the green checked components at the Application Suite level. Just to mention that this instance of Application Suite is release 8.9 and has Manage, Health, Monitor, and the HSC add-on deployed and activated. We're only going to focus on the core Manage applications. We're not going to talk about HSC for this video. Click right into the Manage with Health tile, which simply means that I can go to Health from within Manage. Not something we're going to do in this video either. While Manage looks a bit different than Maximo 7.6, there is much that should be looking familiar to you. In the upper left corner is a set of bars. Those open up the Go To menu when you click on them. Of course, the list of applications you see as a user are determined by the security groups that you are in. There's nothing new there. Of course, the start centers, depending on the security groups that reference start centers that your user is a member of, those start centers will appear here on the screen as well. Of course, over on the right-hand side, you have icons that you're familiar with. You have your bulletins that are coming from your system administrators. You have reports that might be available to you as a user. The gear is where administration is performed. Uh, if your user is in the Max Admin group, like mine is, you will see the gear here, and there is some administration that will be done there. Of course, you have your familiar context-sensitive help, as well as system information. Uh, screens are available under the question mark. Over on the profile settings is where you're able to change your default information and other uh, things that you're familiar with from Maximo 7.6. And of course, at the very bottom is your, your logout link. The nine dots over here on the far right corner, this is your path back to the Application Suite Navigator, which is where we began with the tiles and such. Okay, so now let's just work our way down the left-hand side of the screen here. And we'll just point out some of the subtle changes as we, as we work our way down. Find a navigation item does just that. So for example, if you type in work, it will show you all of the instances of the word work in the go to menu, the application menu, if you will. And you just go ahead and X that out to continue on. Start centers. The house always returns you back to your start center. I'll just click on that so you can see that it's actually taking me back to where I already am. My recent applications, very familiar. As you go to the different applications in the system, this is where you have been lately. And that just continues to grow until you have eight in your list. Very typical there. Administration. It's largely the same except for a couple of things. One is that you'll notice that there's no license usage monitor here anywhere. Uh, that's no longer present because license or app points administration is performed at the application suite level. The other thing you'll notice is that the administration work center is no longer present. Those functions are now done by way of the gear, as we mentioned, and also the, there is a new API application that you're going to see when we get to the integration module. So let's move on to analytics. You won't see too much different there, 
but allow us to mention that Cognos is now part of Application Suite after version 8.9. So you might want to look into that if you have some business intelligence and analysis needs. The asset module is largely the same, but note down here towards the bottom the introduction of what is being called role-based applications. These are actually the mobile applications that come with an application suite, and not only can they be loaded onto a mobile device as a true application, but they can also be launched from within Manage as a new browser tab. Moving on, let's close out assets, go to building information models. Nothing really new there. Going down to change, <laughs> no changes in change. They're the same. Taking a look at contracts, contracts are unchanged. Moving on to financial, no real changes in financial, but let me mention the use of the budget monitoring application. It's been in Maximo for some time, and it's really handy to manage budgets, especially those that are impacted by work and materials that are being entered by way of work orders. IT infrastructure, no real change there at all. Integration is also largely the same, uh, but note, as I mentioned earlier, that now there's an addition of the API keys application. Application Suite overall is heavy into REST APIs. So this app is where you're going to manage those keys for your external applications and functions to interact with Manage. Moving on into inventory, largely the same, but notice that there is now a count books application as well as the inventory counting mobile application. Within the mobile inventory counting app is where you would execute on the count books that you establish uh, within Manage here. Working our way to planning. Planning is not changed very much. Uh, apologies for things being a little cluttered with all the HSE applications being added to it. But one thing we will point out is that the datasheet template application which is the large functionality of the calibration and life sciences add-on of the past, it's now part of Manage as well. So in order to take advantage of the calibration functionality of the past, it's now just part of Manage, so there's nothing else you need to do there. Rolling on down to planning and scheduling, this is your portal to the graphical scheduling applications. They've obviously been updated as the versions go by, but there's nothing really new there as well. Working our way down to preventive maintenance, no changes there. Purchasing, no changes there as far as uh, new applications go. And then stopping here for a moment under release, I'd say no changes under release. If we go into security, on the surface there does not appear to be any changes at all. But keep in mind that creating new users is no longer done down here in the manage level. That task is performed at the application suite level done by either the MAS admin, yes there's now a MAS, M-A-S admin, um, or a MAX admin uh, user that has the ability or the entitlement to make user changes as well you'll find in the user's application that there is no new user option. Okay. Self-service remains just that, your desktop requisitions and your service requests. Service desk remains largely the same um, as well. Um, the service level and system configuration as well as task management are all the same as well. At the very bottom, finally, we made it down to work orders. And let me roll down here quite a ways. So we have all the familiar work order tracking and labor reporting and things like that. And then way down at the bottom, you will have the role-based applications, just like we've seen up above. You'll have inspections and technician work approvals. And at the very bottom, there's a service request app as well. Okay. Again, these are the mobile applications that come with application suite, but they can also be launched from within a browser into a new browser tab as well. 
Okay, so one thing I haven't quite showed you yet is what the actual traditional applications look like in the new application suite. So I'm just going to jump way down here back again to the bottom down to work orders, open up work order tracking. It opens, of course, I'm going to hit enter and fill my list view. So you can see over on the left hand side here, all of your common actions and more actions are as you would expect them to, to see. Of course, you have your available queries that might exist as well over on the left hand side, nothing new there. Over on the right hand side, towards the top, you will have your, your query controls, your more search fields, you can look at your where clause, saving your queries, things like that. And then of course you have your icons for adding new work orders, saving the work orders, moving forward, moving back. If you have reports and such that are up there on those print icons, you can use those as well. You notice for filtering across the top, you have the fields that you can enter values into and, and uh, filter and sort your list view um, as expected. And then when you go ahead and click on a particular work order, just a couple little new things there. You'll notice that the, uh, the drop-down lists uh, appear just a little bit uh, different than they did before. You know, however, you can still filter and sort there across the top of them as well. And then kind of the last unique thing about the new user interface is that uh, checkboxes are now slider switches. So instead of checking things, you slide things. And other than that, the feature functionality within the actual applications is basically the same. So, you know, that wasn't too bad. A few new things. Most of it's pretty much the same. Uh, nothing earth shattering as far as a Maximo or manage standpoint goes. Uh, not a whole lot of user community retraining that would need to be done necessarily. Uh, certainly, if you have training documentation, you'll have to retake your screenshots and such. But uh, hopefully that was uh, useful. Uh, certainly be in contact if you wanted to know more uh, about uh, Manage or Application Suite in, in general. We can certainly help you with that. So enjoy your weekend. Um.